Right, hello guys and welcome back to another part in my DIY analog synthesizer tutorial videos. What I'm going to be covering in this video is how to calibrate our VCO or how we will we'll, we'll use the trimmers and we'll trim up the exponential converter so we can receive we will receive a linear control voltage in from our CV out pitch CV out and that will be turned into a logarithmic current which will be passed into the actual oscillator do not forget and just remember exponential converter plus the oscillator makes it a VCO now it's not DCO because it's not a digital controlled oscillator which is a completely different subject matter so what I'm going to be using here as our guidance is the Roland Jupiter 8 um, exponential converter circuit schematic diagram whatever language you'd like to hear that in shall we say right anyway so we're going to be dealing with three different trimmers here we'll have one which is our initial trim and we will have number two here which is our width trim and this if we remind ourselves from an earlier video this sets the width from width from which we will tune we will tune our um, our octave so this is basically will give you the one volt per octave so we need to have this so we can span it so every there's a space of one volt each equals one octave in between and here although this is off I would say this is labeled a bit wrong just ignore this this will be this basically this is our high frequency tracking and if you look on one of my other videos you can see I've actually done some modifications on this so don't watch this too closely though this is our pretty much our very good base guide because I've pretty much followed this but I've just changed a few values around anyway story for another day right so what I have on the board here is a set of trimmers and I just wanted to share a little bit of advice that I've kind of picked up and learned over the uh, months of dealing with the VCOs so what I have here is a trimmer which we can adjust by hand and another one here which we will need a small screwdriver and another one here which is a multi-turn Borns trimmer now I'm going to set my meter up and then turn that to the correct range which will be in um, our resist right resistance range so we can measure that I'm just going to double check on the board and I can't see that I think that's about well, if I turn it to one extreme we should see what the value of that is so I think this particular trimmer is around about 25k but it will never be exactly precise but always double check your trimmers especially when you're trying to match resistance value somewhere and you may think oh well that, that I'm, I'm having to go quite extreme they're not at the same visual settings because your trimmers will never they're never always precise bang on from what their prescribed values are right so in my VCO I did start off using these um, type of trimmers and then I decided to try and move on to these ones which gave me more accuracy and I only kind of done this through trial and error to be honest with you so if we have a look at, at, at how accurately we can actually set these we're pretty much there in one turn I haven't even gone 360 degrees turning my hands and we're pretty much gone between the whole root value of that particular resistor so what I decided to do was try these types of trimmers and we have three trimmers in our VCO let's not forget we have our width trimmer our high frequency tracking and our initial tuning trimmer as well so if we look at this particular one, this particular one here is a 5k and we have a small screw on top of that. Now what that has is, is a small screw with a spring with some kind of coil 
and we can more accurately adjust our our resistance. If we look on the meter as I turn that screwdriver, it's getting the right range. I'm going to go into five again. Let's get into the right resistance range here. It's 20k because we've only got a 5k trimmer, so that was too high. But if we look at that, that's pretty much here. It's end, and we will hear a click, small click, click. So if I turn this now, and let's try and trim that resistance down, we can see why this type of Bourne's trimmer is much better. I'm turning that, I've, I've turned this quite a few times, and you can see the resistance value going down. Anyway, so that will just be the first part we will be dealing with. Right, now I'm just gonna quickly go through with you how I interface my synthesizer to the PC where we will be checking the tuning when we do the calibration so basically what we have is my mini brute which outputs CV So it's keyboard CV comes out from here and we, we, we hit a key and that will go into a CV buffer on the breadboard which then goes into the exponential converter which then goes into the oscillator. And then from the oscillator, that will go through the, obviously the mixing stage and through the filter and through the VCA. So I'm just gonna sort of shorten that down, just say so out from the VCA. Rather than draw the whole lot, but you kind of get the idea anyway and then that will pass through into a cable which will be an audio out cable which I have going into um, at the moment I have it hooked up to my lexicon effects but I bypass that and then that will go into let's just say we can go into the sound into our sound card of our Mac or PC so this will be our sound card just SC for short and then we should be able to see a display of that on our monitor and that's basically all there is to it it's quite quite simple a very inexpensive setup I know you know you can sort of go if you have a accurate oscilloscope that would be handy but I just use basically a lot of PC based oscilloscopes plus a program called API tuner which I will show you very very shortly